Hi guys, well, this little guy's name is Ducky. He is a goose. I don't know what kind of goose because he was given to me as a day old. So I also have no idea what happened to his mum. What I discovered on Thursday, he was a day old, so Thursday just gone, is that there's very little about geese and how to hand raise them. So what I've decided to do is try and make some videos about goslings. So the whole reason we've got the psychedelic disco light is because it is night time here and that right there is a heat lamp. I live in the desert in Western Australia and it can still get a bit cold at night at the moment so what I've done is he has this cool big storage, I think a 90 litre storage box and there's just a blanket over the top to shade it and as you can see down the bottom where his food and everything else is is really far away from the heat lamp so he has a choice he can either sit here where he's nice and warm or if he gets too hot he can go down the end and he can also go and have a feed so he generally starts to nest when it starts getting dark and he'll sleep through until the morning when I get up so he'll hear me get up so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So he's about four or five days old. He started tracking his weight. He gained 16 kilo, uh, sorry, 16 grams in the last 24 hours. So what I'll do is I'll take another quick video tomorrow and document how much he weighs and how much he has gained. Because, well, you don't really know much about goslings, so you don't know how much they're actually meant to weigh and how much is a healthy weight gain for a gosling. So, my battery's decided to die, so it will just go really quickly to... So, this is just a puppy pad on the bottom so that I can clean it really easily every day. That's his food. It is non-medicated chicken pellet grow a chicken pellet so I've just stuck that in water and mashed it up and the dark looking spots are spinach and I've put a little bit of egg in there but I never put too much because I don't like the idea of it going off and he also has a little bit of baker's yeast which is good for the niacin um, it looks pretty scabby but he tends to stand in it so what I do is I get a little bit stick it in there I make sure that it's got just enough water to cover it and then he'll go over and he'll feed and that believe it or not was clean water about 10 minutes ago but he stands in that too uh, such is life so that is what I feed him and then tomorrow I'll talk more about taking him out to graze and teaching him to swim there's a lot of fear about goslings drowning and becoming waterlogged but I've been putting him in supervised water since day one and he's been going leaps and bounds there you go he's going down for a feed he thinks that mum had a great idea there he is very good so yeah i hope you enjoyed my first video about goslings <laughs>